Jim Mackichuk and I wrote uh, The Tower. I wrote and directed it, and it was back in 1985, 86, and I was broke. Uh, I was in Toronto and needed money, so I called up Lionel, and he was always ready to hire a guy. Uh, just like me, you could write and direct, and so I did that. And uh, the only stipulation that Vinyl said is that you got to have a girl in a bikini. So we did have a girl in a bikini, as you will see. It cost about twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, not a lot of money. And we used a crew from CHCH in Hamilton who covered hockey games, and they were really awful. I did not like them. They weren't very good. And I used to say that uh, as long as the, the actor had a hockey puck taped to their forehead, they would always be in frame, which they didn't like. And we shot a lot of it in a waste treatment plant halfway between Toronto and Hamilton, and the smell was just awful. And of course, that's where we had our lunches and our dinners, and I apologize to the actors and the crew for that. But anyways, have a look at the movie, and I understand that uh, Kendra and Paul are here, and that would be great to... I wish I could be there. I would love to see them and tell them to give me a call. Um, anyways, enjoy the movie and see what happens. And uh, tell me about it on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. I, I mean, I know what you'll probably say, but tell me anyways. I'd love to hear it. Bye. And because I will do anything I have to for it. Anything covers a lot of territory. Ready for the tower. Woo! Turn up the screen. Tower. Yeah! Do we have a, do, is there anyone here who, who's had the pleasure of watching the tower? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. you, you're, a, you're a bit of a tower fan, eh? I got I got two copies of it. He's single. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, man. What's, a special surprise that I that I found out. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Jim Makchuk is the name of the director, and he's based, I believe, in uh, L.A. now. Um, but word, one way or another, got to him that he, that we were screening The Tower, and he's sent us a DVD uh, personal intro to the. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time ever at the trash pile. We've, we've had phone calls and stuff like over the speakerphone, but we never actually had like a, a video presentation by a director. Enjoy the tower, etc. <laughs>
Are you all warmed up? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it.
he would uh, he would do a contra deal with CHCH where basically they would get a hundred percent can con show and he would get their uh, he would get what's supposed to be straight time uh, employment from these guys. So all the all the lighting guys, camera guys, technicians, uh, as long as they were working in straight time and they weren't going into overtime, he got that at basically at a wash and just delivered the show to them and he'd have distribution rights uh, to make his money around the world. So that's how he's kind of structured that. The thing that's smart about it too is we all had day jobs. We actually spent that all at night. So you actually roll it, you'd come right out of shooting that like around 2, 2, 3, 3 o'clock in the morning. And you'd be back to work at 7 the next day. And you'd be back in that place at night, and back at 2, 3 in the morning. I mean, it was good thing we were young. It was exhausting. <laughs> And, so, and we shot the we shot the pool at the Constellation Hotel out by the airport. Um, we shot the all of the stuff that that sort of control room and uh, uh, so the control room and there was um, that sort of that really tall area where they were kind of walking through the sort of tiered levels right near the end there. That was all at the at the ship plant at, at the bottom of Cockford Road and uh, and the Lakeshore, right? So it was like it was a, it was pretty gnarly in that place. But thank God for whole factory fatigue. You know? <laughs> but if you had told any of us that we'd be you know, 25 plus years later <laughs> standing here and screaming at the time. <laughs> This is actually happening. I started expecting to be in his living room or something watching it, not an actual sort of like <laughs> real screen My situation. I thought it was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good laugh, though. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was sort of a time capsule, too, in a lot of ways. You, know, you see all the stuff going on. So. <laughs> You had a VCR. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's open it up. Does anyone have any questions for? Uh... The interesting uh, story about that whole shoot was uh, the girl in the yellow bikini. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, <laughs> she had one of these uh, old personal agent guys who had like sure, this, yeah, this. Yeah, perhaps who had <laughs> discovered her and was convinced that she was going to be his ticket to the big time. It was like the the bad toupee, the cheesy suit. The whole nine yards, and he'd be like following her around the set, making sure nobody talked to her. <laughs> and I would see her at castings for about a year or so later, and then never again. So I don't know if they hit the big time or it just blew up or what happened. <laughs> so it was just so funny, so funny. This guy, Eddie, you know, central casting, bad, cheesy agent. <laughs> she bought it though. She bought it. Oh uh, yeah, well, he was paying for her, you know, get her teeth capped and the hair done and all the nose job and the whole nine yards. Yeah, tonight she did look good. Well, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Even tonight she's looking good. <laughs> I'm wondering, wondering about that red shirt though. What were they thinking? Actually, no, it was neat. It was neat working with Jim Makachuk. He was actually a blast. Yeah, he was a really nice guy. Yeah, he had such great ideas. And everybody was like, actually, it was, so, it was a fun environment to uh, be around. Nobody ever felt stressed. No one ever. Argued with that. It was actually even when we were out at all hours of the night too. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun to, to do that. Of course, we were like young and impressionable and, and had nothing to compare it to. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, making that whole thing for about twenty five grand is insane. That's too. incredible. <laughs> Sequel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the stairwell. <laughs> 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 